It's one of the most popular services around, but is Mega still a good option for cloud storage? Let's find out. Hey guys, so about a year ago, we published our original Mega review, but a year is a very long time in the tech space. Some services improve while others stay stationary and fall behind. So I want to look at Mega again to see if it's still keeping pace with the competition. Our expert team has also been able to spend more time with the product and this video will reflect how we at CloudWords currently feel about the cloud storage service. You've heard me say it before, but it really helps when you subscribe to the channel and also like the video and tap the bell icon, right? That's enough admin talk for now. Let's get just into the juicy stuff. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you I'm a big fan of Mega. For me, it's doing all the right things. Fast and class security, large storage options, and one of the best free plans in the space. It's also adding new features to the product too. Some of them are ready to go and others are still in beta testing, but I'll cover them so you know what to expect if you sign up for the service. As much as I do like Mega, I should add it's still not my favorite, not yet at least. That crown goes to Sync.com, the best cloud storage service around. You can check out our video review of Sync.com here in the channel, but you can also check out the links in the description box below where you can read the review our team's team of expert crafted just for you. Okay, let's break down what Mega is all about, starting with its features. Something I really like about Mega are the file previews. Some cloud storage services reduce image quality in file previews, often to ensure smooth performance. But with Mega, I can open my photographs and see them in full high resolution without needing to download them to my computer. It doesn't slow down performance either, which I absolutely love. If you ask me, it's something to keep in mind, especially if you're a content creator. Mega doesn't have file size limits in place either. So videographers with exceptionally large files won't have any issues uploading them. And in case you're wondering if it's really unlimited file sizes, several mega users have reported uploading single files up to three terabytes in size, which is huge. So please leave a comment below this video and tell us how much files you've uploaded to Mega, what was your largest file? I'd love to hear your experience that we can then include in our other reviews and um, provide more feedback to other viewers of this video. If you're anything like me and enjoy making content on your smartphone, then Mega's got you covered. You can switch on automatic uploads for both photos and videos. We can all be forgetful, right? This simple feature is great just to ensure the legacy and protection of your memories. I mean, anything can happen to your smartphone. You can chop it in water, you can throw it out of a building, whatever happens. So it's always good to have a backup. And this is what we've been preaching for a very long time here on the CloudWiz channel. So you know how the drill goes. I want to talk to you about Mega Chat. It's not a feature you tend to find on other cloud storage services. So I think it's really worth a mention. The chat feature lets you add other users to an account and send text messages between each other. If you want to share a quick file with a coworker inside the chat, you can do that either from Mega's cloud or from my computer. Since our last review, Mega has also added video and voice call functionality. Our team tested it out and I can report that it was a positive experience. Call quality was good and stable and we're also able to do some screen sharing too. Can't change your background like on Google Meet or Zoom, but if you ask me, they're more quirky features than essentials in these video calls. By the way, video calls won't work on Safari, so you'll need to install a Chromium-based browser if you want to use this feature. It's clear to me that Mega doesn't just want to be your standard run-of-the-mill cloud storage service. It wants to edge its way into the communication and collaboration space as well. But could it really compete with the likes of Google Workspace and Microsoft 365? Right now, no way. Because unlike those two, Mega doesn't let you create files inside the platform. You can't edit files you upload either. So it's really a dead end for productivity. There is no back and forth sending files or, or whatnot and collaboration on a set same file like in Google Docs, for example. There's a reason Mega is so closed off in terms of collaboration. And if you ask me, it's a pretty good one. You see, 
Unlike Microsoft and Google, Mega really cares about the privacy of its users. We mentioned it before in other videos, but it's worth reminding you that Mega offers zero knowledge encryption. Basically, it means Mega minds its own business and won't scan or view the files you upload to the cloud. All your messages are encrypted too, which means all your conversations are essentially private. On top of your password, you get the given recovery key. Pay attention here because this is very, very important. If you lose your recovery key, you won't be able to access your account ever. And I mean ever. No one at Mega can restore your account. Only you will be able to do this. You won't be able to help. That The Mega staff won't, just won't be able to help you. There's no one who could get your credentials. So keep them safe and consider using a password manager like I do. Since our last review, Mega has launched a new product called S4 Object Storage. Full disclosure, this is still in beta mode, but anyone can request access to this feature. I've not managed to test it myself, but I think it's worth mentioning, especially if you're looking for self-hosting options for cloud storage. If you're a personal user, this feature won't be for you. Object Storage is designed for businesses with, with large amounts of data which they need to host and store in one centralized place. Case in point, beta testers get 60 terabytes of storage space and 60 terabytes of free transfers. I'm not going to go like too deep into this, but my, if you really want to know more about it, just leave me a comment and I might make a video later. And it's also a beta product, but I will be monitoring it and will obviously continue to update our reviews and, as I said, make another video about it later. Let me briefly go over Mega Speed Performance. It's pretty average when it comes to uploading and downloading your files. It can't really compete with services like pCloud and iStrive. They're consistent speed demons, but it's not as slow as other services like OneDrive and Ignite. Let me drop the facts. I had a five gigabyte folder full of all file types. It took just shy of nine minutes to reach Mega servers. Downloading the same folder took just under eight minutes. Honestly, on average, most of the services only had a minute separating them in terms of speed, so you really have to hardly notice it. Personally, I wouldn't get too lost in this metric, but it's worth looking at it if really speed is important to you. I'm going to leave a link in the description to all our speed tests for each of the providers we have reviewed. So check it out and you can make a comparison and then later decide if speed is really the main criteria you want to go for if you choose a cloud storage service. As far as being a cloud storage service with some cool add-ons, I still believe Mega is a great option. It has an excellent free plan as it offers up to 20 gigabytes of free storage space. By the way, you can check out my top free cloud storage options, obviously in the video that I'm showing in the card here in the video, click on it, have fun with it, let me know what you think. Mega's entry level plan for personal use costs $10.93 per month and gives you two terabytes of storage. For business pricing, it's more flexible and is determined by how many users you have and how much storage space you need. For example, three terabytes of storage shared across three users will start at around $16.42 per month. I should say, all Mega's pricing is in euros. So these prices reflect the current conversion rate of the basically making of this video. So it could have changed when you watch it on YouTube. If you're asking me, which obviously you are, um, <laughs> if you don't want encrypted messaging tools and are going to need more than 20 gigabytes of storage, then there are better options. Sync.com, for example, offers the same level of encryption as Mega, and on average, its plans are much more affordable. The bottom line is this. If you want secure storage space, and you need to communicate with others, then Mega is a really solid option. If you don't need productivity tools, I'd go for Mega over Google and Microsoft any day of the week. And I'd also consider it as a potential Slack alternative. I'm going to leave a link down in the description to our full Mega review so you can take a look. You'll be able to learn about all its features and get the full lowdown on pricing. I'd also love to know what you think about the service. So, as usual, leave me a comment below here in the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit a like, and also tap the bell icon. I'll be back again soon with another CloudWords video. See ya.